Hi. Uh, this is uh, August the 24th. Take my square eyeballs off. This is August the 24th, 2011. A few days ago, I posted uh, a uh, video of our message from last Sunday, my message from last Sunday morning, and I put a little clip in there about some of the things that's going on around Pittsburgh. Uh, there's been a lot of violence, and there's been uh, flooding. Some people lost their lives in a place where you don't normally hear flooding. Although I, I understand that about 60 years ago they had flooding there, so it wasn't the first time, but the first time I remember that people died in a particular area of Pittsburgh called uh, Washington Boulevard, Highland Park in that area. If you're from Pittsburgh, you know you know where I'm talking about. And uh, I posted that, and I said it was because uh, they're filming The Dark Knight, the latest Batman movie. They're filming here in Pittsburgh. And I believe there's a spiritual connotation because I believe there's uh, an occult undertone to a lot of the movies that are being made, especially Batman with, uh, you know, The Dark Knight Rises. I mean, that, that says it all right there. So I believe there's, there's a spiritual activity going on. I believe that there are good spirits and evil spirits. The Bible teaches that there are demons, the fallen angels, and uh, they're sent to torment us, and uh, they do a pretty good job of it. When Adam sinned in the garden, he gave his dominion to the enemy. So now Satan is called the prince of the power of the air. Anyway... There was one comment I received from, from a fella who said, uh, he started out his comment by saying, listen, buddy. <laughs> you know, usually when they start out a comment like that, it's not going to be real friendly. But he said, listen, buddy. He says, I'm a Christian and I like the Batman movies. And you can go to that particular uh, video and I'll have, a, I'll have a link to it somewhere down there, down there. And you can watch the original video. And I answered him back and I said, you know, why would a Christian want to, or how could somebody that loves Jesus love these, these movies that, that portray the occult? And, uh, you know, I got saved when I was about 30 years old. And before I was saved, I liked movies. I would watch movies. And I, I found out that uh, and, and, and I like I liked art films, foreign films. I like different kinds of films. And I found out after I got saved, God allowed me to see that the people that make movies and the entertainment industry in general, they're not friends to Christ. There, there might be some in there that are. I'm not painting with a broad brush. Maybe there are some people who are involved in those industries that really do have faith in Jesus. But by and large, the product that they produce is not friendly to Christ. Uh, shortly, well, a, a while after I got saved, a friend of mine asked me, uh, wanted to lend me the movie, The Field of Dreams. How many, I don't know if you remember that movie or not. Uh, build it and they'll come and so forth. And basically, you know, I, I started watching this movie and I hadn't been to a movie in a while. And, and quite frankly, now at this time, I have not been to a movie in over 20 years, with one exception. But that's uh, another story. Anyway, uh, this movie, Field of Dreams, seemed to be fairly innocuous. It, uh, there might have been a little bit of profanity in it. But there was a part in there where there was like a town meeting. And it was quite a few years ago, so I don't remember exactly what the whole thing was. But there was a town meeting, and there were people there who were the Christians. And they portrayed them as idiots. And I've come to see that most, you know, mostly uh, in Hollywood movies, whenever Christians are portrayed, they're usually portrayed as idiots. Because the people that make these movies think I'm an idiot. And they want me to pay six bucks or eight bucks, whatever it costs to get into a movie, for them to tell me I'm an idiot. I got people that will tell me that for nothing. Why should I pay money? Anyway, I, and it dawned on me, and the Lord was letting me see things that that the movie industry is not friendly toward Christians or Christ. Uh, it was that same friend that asked me, you know, he knew I was a Christian, 
And it was about the time that they came out with a movie called The Last Temptation of Christ. Maybe some of you are old enough to remember that. It was a movie that was directed by Martin Scorsese, who was normally thought of as a great director. He should have been ashamed of himself. This movie was a lousy movie. Even without the theme, it was just, you know, critics, critics who were honest basically said this was, this was a lousy movie. But the theme of the movie was it was a, it was a Gnostic uh, presentation of Christ. The Gnostics did not believe that Jesus was God. They believed he was just a man that got possessed with the God spirit and so forth. And uh, I watched this movie for about 20 minutes. And I said, they're making Jesus out to be a jerk. And uh, so I quit watching it. But that movie, which really was not that great a movie, was nominated for an Academy Award. That thing should have been nominated to be thrown in the garbage can, even not considering the thematic, you know, the, the theological stuff. It was just a lousy movie. And uh, it was nominated for an Academy Award. Why? Because when the movie came out, Christians started picketing theaters and holding boycotts and making all this big noise about this movie. They should have just shut up and not went. It would have died on the vine because it was a lousy movie. But... Uh, I'm saying all this to say, you know, if you're a Christian, what do you find in these movies? What do you see in these movies? How much, how much edifying material? What, how is Christ glorified or exalted in these movies that are produced? Uh, I would want you to consider. It's not a legalistic thing. Well, I'm not going to the movie. You know, if the rapture happens, Jesus isn't going to get me out of that movie theater. That's just, that's just stupid. That's stupid. But I would like to encourage you. Think about what you're watching and the people that make these movies. I guarantee you that most of them, not all of them, most of them, if you're, if you're a, a Bible-believing Christian, most of the people that make movies think you are an absolute jerk. And they're not afraid to tell you so. I want to tell you that Jesus doesn't think you're a jerk. He thinks you're created in the image of God. And he wants you to love him. Jesus said, if you're not for them, you're against them. And the people that make this stuff coming out of Hollywood or wherever it comes, they don't give two hoots about what Jesus thinks. They're against them. They're anti-Christ. So for all you Christians out there who like to plop down your six bucks or eight bucks, whatever it costs, I don't know what it costs, to go see these movies, think about it. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'll put my square eyeballs on again so I can see what I'm doing to turn the computer off. God bless.